What's up guys? Got a little treat today. Um, I don't know if it's out there or not, but I got me a ultimate tree hopper saddle. Uh, tree hoppers ultimate saddle is brand new. Uh, it's, I don't even think it's on the market yet. Um, but this is the single panel saddle from tree hopper. I've hunted one night in it and I love it. It's great. It has molly loops on the bottom on this side, on this side, and all across the top. And what I like about it is it has three small ones. I could put my my ropes on. It has a larger one, and then a single, a larger, single, larger, and then three more. So your larger stuff can go into them like my big game hoist and what I really love about it too is it's a Prusik knot rope bridge. This is great, man. Uh, here's your Lyman's loops. You know, if you want to tighten up your bridge, very simple. You tighten it up, loosen it up, loosen it up. The buckles are very simple. I took the leg straps off. I don't like leg straps. Some people might. It has some really good padding here for hip pinch, which I have not uh, experienced with this. I sat the other night with it. And actually, I've sat two nights with this, and I love it. Can't get any simpler than that. Boom. Tighten it up. That's the waist belt. It does have, like I said, does have two leg bands that come up, and I, I removed them because I can't stand it. Like, very simple, very light. It's uh, It kind of has this panel in between where it, it spreads apart. When you sit down into it, it's like creases. If you notice and you put weight on it, it opens up. And it'll form to your, your high knee. So, let's go out in the woods and check it out. See it in action. Sit tight. Saddles as easy as I, I got no butt, so I'm gonna probably need some um, suspenders because I ain't got no rear end and don't sit up. sit right. So let me get in the tree and I'll show. You. Now we're in a tree. This thing is all out, man. I can go anywhere I want, and it's really cupping the back of me. Um, the only thing is, if you don't have this length right, your tether length right and your bridge whatever fits you it's going to get some hip pinch it's going to get some tension down in your legs so you really need to play with it just like any other saddle loosen it and these uh prusik, prusik knots are not the best to play with and up in the tree now that gave me a little more room and i could still maneuver around and you know i could I could sit back here and shoot, you know? And uh, with this platform, I'm gonna do a video on this platform. This platform is amazing. It's great. But maneuverability in this saddle is phenomenal. I can go anywhere. I can shoot back over here. I'm using my knee and my hip, and I can shoot very simply. And the way you maneuver, just like any other saddle, is where you got everything adjusted to. You gotta figure that out. And that's why I've, I've only used this a couple times this year. Uh, matter of fact, this week I used it. And I, I liked it. It's a very good saddle, it's very light. And um, it's 360 right there, baby. Come back around. Use your feet. And this platform is big enough where I don't need a ring of steps and I feel comfortable. I can do all my maneuvering with my feet. But the thing is with this platform, you don't want a big tree. You want about, a, this is about maximum tree I would probably get in. The saddle, the form is great. Once you get this tether, the way uh, that the length on what you need it, 
I, I bring mine down a lot lower because I like the maneuverability and I like a short bridge. This is a little long. So what I can do is pull on that root, shorten that bridge. Now, now, there's a lot more tension down here, but not as much as it's choking you out. But see, I, could, I got freedom. I could shoot. I could shoot very free right there, especially with my recurve. Now, let's see if I can get down there with just this platform and come around a tree nice and steady using my feet. Almost, not 360, but just about. I, I probably wouldn't take that dead back of me shot like that. Plus, you had a big one, but I'd get about right here, almost 360 with this platform. A really good saddle. It's a single panel saddle. They also have the double panel recon, which I did a review last week on. Is it another great saddle, but I'm not a two panel guy. I did not like that two panel. The one would always sag on me. So you gotta consider that when you're when you're going after something. But uh, tree hopper, ultimate saddle. Check it out, man. Tree hopper, LLC.com. Great products, man. They got everything you need. They got platforms. They got step tree strap on steps. They got saddles. They got screw in steps. They got uh, uh, woodpecker uh, drills. They got bolts used with the woodpecker drills. They got damn near anything you want. They even have pads for the bolts you use for the woodpecker drill. That you, they're like steps. You put on the bolt, put it in the tree, and they're like a step. It's crazy. So, once again, tree hopper, ultimate saddle. Check it out, man. It's a great product. This is mine. This is my saddle, and this is what I'm going to be using. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all your help, support. And as usual, subscribe and like to the Bucksack.